Okay, welcome everyone. So now that we've discussed determinants for 2x2, 3x3, 4x4 matrices, let's extend this definition to any square n by n matrix. So recall with 4x4 case, um, we said, well, first of all, we can work across any row that we want, but if we were to go across row one, then the determinant of this 4x4 matrix, we could write as entry A11 times the determinant of submatrix A11 minus A12 times the determinant of submatrix A12, uh, et cetera. And we're gonna alternate the signs in front of each of these terms depending on what the whether the sum of i and j is even or odd. So let's just extend this notion out to n by n matrices. So we are going to define the determinant of an n by n matrix by taking its A11 entry times the determinant of the submatrix we get when we cancel all of the entries in the first row and the first column. So the determinant of submatrix A11. Then we subtract A12 times the determinant of that submatrix and so on, all the way out to the nth entry in that first row and whether or not we add or subtract this last term is going to depend on whether or not 1 plus n is even or odd. So we can write out this sign. We can express this sign by writing minus 1 to the power of 1 plus n. And again, if this happens to be odd, then we'll have a negative sign. If the sum of i and j is even, then minus 1 to an even number would be positive and we get that positive sign. So this is what it would look like if we were to work across the very first row. We can write this much more succinctly as saying, we are gonna sum from column J equals one all the way up to the last column of this matrix where we're gonna take the A1J entry and multiply it by the determinant of submatrix A1J. And then we need to fix the sign in front of this term, determine whether we're going to be adding or subtracting this based on whether or not the um, sum of the i and the j terms, in this case, i is fixed as 1, so whether 1 plus j is even or odd. So we can write out this formula using summation notation. And there's nothing particularly special about the first, going across the first row, we could adjust this to instead say we're going to come across the second row by changing all of these ones to twos. And we can pick any row that we want to come across. So we can do this in general for the ith row that we select. So in this case, the i is denoting the row that we're going across. And these i's are fixed. And what we're summing over are the j's, which are the different columns from the first column all the way up to the nth column. Um, so here's a formula for it. It's not the most uh, pleasant formula to work with, but we do have a general formula for the determinant of any square n by n matrix. And we've seen in practice when the matrix is two by two, that's great. We can do those by hand very quickly. When the matrix becomes three by three, um, it may not be too bad to do them by hand, um, depending on whether we have zeros in the matrix or not. But once we get beyond the three by three matrix, unless the matrix has some special properties, it's gonna be really difficult to work with this definition. It's very heavy in computation. So on the next slide, we'll take a look at how we can do these computations in Python. So let's consider following question. We wanna compute the determinant of three by three matrix A First column is 3, 1, 2. The second column is minus 1, 2, 0. And the third column is 2, 0, 1. And we calculated this uh, by hand using the definition working across all of the different rows, actually. And we showed that we got the same uh, value no matter which row we worked across. Um, working across rows 2 and 3 were a little bit less computational because we had 0 in, uh, in those rows. But what we found is that this determinant was equal to minus one. Um, so let's see how we can enter this in Python. And, and for the description of this video below, I'll put a link to a Google Colab document where you can play around with some of these commands and these matrices. Um, but one way that we could 
calculate the determinant of a matrix is using the NumPy library. So um, here I've entered my matrix A, um, which was given. And in inside this NumPy library that I've abbreviated with NP, there's a function that's called linalg.determinant. And so all I do is I input my matrix in the parentheses next to the determinant. So um, writing out np.linalg.determinant and inputting this, this array, this matrix A that we just defined, this gives me an output of minus 0 0.9999999999998. I think I said the right amount of nines. Okay, so we see that this is pretty close to minus one, but there is some error in this calculation, okay? It's really far out there, um, but if you don't like assuming that, okay, Python probably means that this is minus one, um, if we don't want to take a guess at what the error is here, there's another method that will give us a more precise calculation that would require using the SimPy library. So I'm going to import NumPy since I want to input my matrix as an array. So we need the NumPy for that. And then there's a similar function in the SimPy library called matrix determinant, where now we input our array for the matrix in the parentheses next to the matrix. And when I run this command and print the output to the screen, this is giving me the exact value for the determinant, which is minus one. So just keep that in mind. There are these two methods. They're basically giving me the same answer. When you are working with the determinant function built into NumPy, there's going to be very marginal, but some error in that calculation, whereas the SimPy built-in matrix determinant function is giving us the exact calculation. And so let's use this SimPy built-in determinant calculator in Python to calculate the determinant of this four by four matrix that we had earlier. So now the first column is one, four, two, zero. Second column is two, 10, five, seven. The third column is three, two, minus one, minus five. Column four is minus two, minus three, minus six, one. Uh, so if I wanna calculate this in Python, um, first of all, I want to make sure that at some point I've already imported SimPy and NumPy, which um, in this case I did in an earlier code cell. Um, so I in, input my matrix A using NP array, um, and you can check that I've entered in my values correctly. And now I'm going to use the SimPy matrix determinant function, inputting my matrix A into that function. Um, I can see that this determinant winds up being 336. And if you try playing around with the Colab document um, that I linked below, you'll see that this takes less than a second to calculate. So it's super fast and efficient at calculating these determinants.